don't shut the fuck up about these nuts. What you really need is Jesus. <laughs> Hi there everybody, this is YouTube and you are watching Afro X. Mad Max Fury Road. In essence, it's a man's man movie. No, literally. This is created for men. Here's a short description. Blood, explosions, cars, spikes, fire, a scantily clad, very pregnant Rosie Huntington Whiteley, which pregnant women is your thing. There you go. Along with a cast of about five or six also very scantily clad women. Now for a real description. I must say, spoiler alert. We find Max Rakitansky, which is a really weird last name, Tom Hardy, at the beginning running and getting caught by whom we later find out to be a group called the Half-Life Boys, who are ruled over by an evil tyrant named Immortan Joe. Max nearly escapes, but by the end is pulled under into the Citadel. Fast forward. Imperator Furiosa, Charlize Theron, is told to go lead a convoy of Half-Life boys to Gastown in the huge war rig, a semi-truck with spikes and saw blades sticking out of it, and from what I gather, deliver a tanker full of water. Furiosa decides instead to rescue all of Morton Joe's wives from captivity and sex slavery and bring them to where she was born, a place simply called the Green Place. And Morton Joe finds out what has happened and leads a war party to go take down the war rig and get his wives back. Here we meet one of the Half-Life boys named Nux, played by Nicholas Holt. He wants nothing more than to please Morton Joe and to kamikaze himself in order to enter Valhalla. Nux and the other Half-Life boys are quickly dying and need full lives, human, er, human's blood, pumped into their veins via blood transfusions. Max is the provider of this for Nux. Nux calls Max his blood bag. Nux goes to drive after Furiosa to appease a Morton Joe, and Max is strapped to the front of his car to provide blood and adrenaline to Nux. The rest of the movie is the process of Max escaping and really nearly every character doing a 180% er, turnaround, degree turnaround in personality and just trying to find some peace in a world of pure chaos. Now, for the good... The movie wasn't scored with modern music, it was scored with actual classic, classical orchestrated pieces, which I liked. I haven't seen that very much since, uh, well, since Star Wars. The Bad. I didn't really know who Max was or what the plot, whole plot was about until about 45 minutes into the movie, and I felt like there wasn't uh, really any meaning in the movie until about an hour had passed. And The Ugly. And I warn you... A pregnant woman gets shot in the leg, run over, and cut open in a rusty knife, no anesthetic cesarean birth to a dead premature baby while on the brink of death, but still alive. So, yeah, there's that. My favorite character was Nux. My favorite actor slash actress was Rosie Huntington Whiteley, of course. My favorite part was when Imperator Furiosa kneels down and yells after learning that there is no green place anymore and the orchestra swells in the music. I thought that was really deep. The running gag, uh, one of the Half-Life boys' job is just to play guitar, a flamethrower guitar, in front of speakers on the front of one of Immortan Joe's war cars. He's completely oblivious to absolutely everything going on at any point in time. Even when Max is fighting other guys around him. The absolute worst is the fat midget man baby that is a Morton Joe's lookout at the Citadel. I just wanted him to die because he was just, just so mother freaking gross.
My overall rating is a 7 foot afro. Well, that's my review of Fury Road. Keep YouTubing, YouTubers. Uh, don't fight the mad fro and stay legendary to the max. Uh, this is Afro X and you are watching YouTube. See you later, folks. Holy shit. Dude, that's, yeah, that's freaking cool.